right. report today, the global death rate at 3.4 percent. Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, and this is just my hunch. And uh, but personally, I would say the number is way under one percent. Figures are flying when it comes to the coronavirus mortality rate. So here are some simple facts. The World Health Organization pegged the global mortality rate of COVID-19 at 3.4%. That's 30 times deadlier than their figures for the seasonal flu, which kills about 0.1% of those infected. 30 times deadlier than the flu sounds ominous, but the WHO figure was calculated by dividing the number of deaths by the number of officially confirmed cases. But in many places, health authorities are only picking up a subset of the sick and possibly most severe cases. Given that roughly 80% of people with COVID-19 have a mild form of the virus, taking these cases into account brings the mortality rate down significantly. So when Donald Trump went on Fox News and appeared to downplay the coronavirus figures released by the WHO, he was astoundingly pretty spot on. They don't know about the easy cases because the easy cases don't go to the hospital. They don't report to doctors or the hospital in many cases. But let's look to the experts. In America, head of infectious diseases Dr. Anthony Fauci believes the mortality rate will prove to be 1% or lower. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. Sure. This has a mortality of 10 times that. England's chief medical officer, Professor Chris Whitty, also backed up that figure and reiterated comment on the myths around transmission. The key thing is if someone washes their hands between that time and when they then touch their face, uh, it is unlikely that transmission will occur. In all, more than 126,000 people have contracted the virus worldwide, with more than 4,600 deaths. Death rates in outbreaks are likely to skew higher earlier on, as health officials focus on finding severe and fatal cases, missing milder cases.